be seen. Hey there. Thank you.
I mean, I ain't saying no exactly, but... That's good, Sheriff. Then you'll be over at 7 p.m.? No, nah, hold on there. Not exactly no, ain't exactly yes. That sounds awfully paradoxical, sir. Yeah, not so much of a paradox as it is a vague statement. Uh, forget it. Well, can I bring the builder? Of course, Sheriff. I'm planning a dinner party tomorrow night. The captain can't make it, but I still want justice to come. The theme is soup. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. And I ain't saying I don't want to come. So you do want to come? Well, I just don't want the builder to miss out, you know. What if they're busy? Are you busy tomorrow night? Ah, that's great. All right. 7 p.m. at my house. You don't have to bring anything. But you can if you want. Just make sure it's smaller than a house. Ah, uh, I've been putting this off. He's a good partner, but he kind of weirds me out a little. I always wanted to keep our relationship, you know, professional. There ain't nothing wrong with that, mind you. I just... And it ain't like I'm trying to avoid it. I just needed some backup. Well, with you there, I reckon it's gonna be fun, actually. It'll be good to get to know the fellow who's always got my six a little better. Anyway, thanks for coming with me. I'll see you there, partner.
down trees. They're amazing! You're really efficient, you know that? Thanks for all your hard work, partner. Now it's my turn to get the tourists to come. Watch me. Thank you.
Thank you. Thank you. Hey, you're here. Justice is at the dining table already. You two can talk a while. Maybe avoid the subject of soup ingredients. I may have worn him out on the topic already. Hey, glad you're here. He introduced me to his friend, Wilson. He's kind of freaking me out. I swear he's giving me the stink eye. Food's ready. Thanks, Unsure. Hey, uh, this looks really good. Thanks, I made it from stuff. Mm-hmm. Made it from the stuff. Thank you. Yeah, I didn't know you could cook so well. When did you learn that? I don't know. I just read what's on the page. Huh. Yeah, I guess that is pretty simple. Yeah. Well, uh, you follow instructions well. Thanks, boss. That means a lot. Nice rocks lately? Yeah, I saw a great one the other day. Can... can I see it? It looked pretty comfortable where it was, so I left it. Ah, <laughs> I was lost in the desert for a while. I was trying to get to Itara. You were walking there? Yeah, it didn't seem too far at the time. On the map, it looks like the length of your finger. But in real life, oh boy, that's how they get you. But... After a bit of a wander, I found myself at Sandrock and saw that the sheriff was hired. Yeah, we were kind of short staffed then. Turnover in Sandrock was uh, pretty high back in those days. Yeah, you hired me on the spot. You said, if you work hard, maybe one day you'll make deputy. So that's why. Yeah, seemed like as good a dream as any. Go figure. So... Yeah? Uh, nothing. Nothing. Shoot anything recently, sir? Well, I mean, you've been with me recently. Yeah, of course. That's right. Saw the whole thing. Uh. <clears throat> no, I never met him. Sounds like a cool guy, though. Aw, oh, man. You don't even know. Things that guy could do. Sounds like you really respect him, boss. Respect him? I would have given my life for him. And he would have given his right back. He was always there to support us. Sounds a lot like you, Sheriff. Aw, oh, shucks, unsure. Thanks. But old B3 was still around. He'd make guys like us look like I blown rutabagas and weak old tater salad. I would tell you about the Sandrock Hotel standoff? The Sandrock Hotel standoff? No. All right, so picture this. Guy had gone into the blue moon. This was way back, mind. Before Owen's day, it was called the Sand Rock Hotel. Guy was a mean piece of work. Kind of eyes that you know were looking for trouble. Covered his face with a mask, but you can still see that scowl underneath. Kind of face that brought fear to the eyes. Got a six shooter, carrying a sack to put the goals in. He walks in and just starts blasting. Right? Look, 
no one was killed, but dang. So, he starts blasting and looks Owen's paw in the eye, says, give me all your money. Now, Owen's paw was a smart man. He ain't about to throw down his life for some goals. So, God leaves, heads outside, and comes face to face with B3. Whoa. Whoa's right. B3's standing there, facing down this devil. Ain't a drop of fear in them eyes. B3 just says, that ain't right of you, friend. We treat each other good in this here town. And this robber just lets out this cackle, like some maniac. What happened next, boss? Well, quick as lightning, B3 shoots that there gun right out of his hand, throws down his own, and tackles the guy. Yeah, just tackled him. B3 wasn't about killing. Didn't want to shed no blood, you see. So God gets thrown in jail, locked up and shipped off to Atara. Ain't never heard from again. That's really cool, boss. Yeah, I ain't seen a shot like that ever since. I wish I could have met him. Yeah, me too, buddy. I reckon he could have taught you a lot. You've taught me a lot too, Sheriff. Huh? Yeah, pretty much everything other than like walking, talking, a couple other things. I know I learned from you. Ah, uh -huh. well, thank you, I'm sure. I didn't know that. Well, I guess I taught you something too then, boss. <laughs> I guess you did. Ain't that something? Well, it's getting kind of late. Right. You know, I had a lot of fun tonight. That's cool. You didn't have to. Yeah, if I'm honest, I was a little apprehensive. Why, boss? Well, I usually find your unique brand of weirdness to be abrasive rather than endearing. Understandable, sir. But I reckon I misjudged you. You're a good cop and a great guy, let alone chef. What do you call this here yellow soup anyhow? Thank you. Ah, uh, don't worry about it. Anyway, I reckon we gotta head now. I'll see you tomorrow, I'm sure. See you tomorrow, Sheriff. Bye. Hey, thanks for coming with me tonight. Where you think I got the guy all wrong? I guess you just gotta break that surface. That weird, rock-obsessed surface. Well, I'm ahead. See you later. Thanks for coming. Hey. Well, we're gonna get this started. You've been such a big help for us at the Civil Corps since you've been here. Every major incident in Sand Rock, you're there, ready to put your life on the line to protect everyone. That's the kind of character we aspire to be. That's the kind of folk the Civil Corps was founded by. And that's the type of individual Sand Rock needs. What I'm saying is, it would be a pleasure to have you join us. So, after talking it over with Unsure and Cap, and getting the paperwork with City Hall in order, I, as the Sheriff of Sand Rock, hereby officially recognize you as an honorary member of the Sand Rock Civil Corps. The honor is all ours. Let's do our best to protect Sand Rock. We've prepared something for you. Here. I reckon you're gonna look pretty fly in the uniform. Congratulations. Now on. You have all the powers granted to a Corps member. You'll be able to access our bounty board in the Civil Corps office to take on any monsters or bandits that are troubling Sand Rock. Maybe I don't say this enough, but you've been invaluable here. We'd be up a creek without you. But, uh, the creek's got water, ain't it? <laughs> Regardless, I'm happy to call you our partner.
Welcome, everyone. Trudy has some exciting news to announce. No fooling. Trudy, if you please. Um, I'd like to give an update on how the latest tree planting experiment went. We're still collecting data, and Zeke is communicating with the botanist in Highwind, as well as the church to get some second opinions. We're also working on growth trajectory, as well as the amount of water needed. With that said, Yes, the rumors are true. It actually went really well. Improbably well. You can go over to our little woods by the Gecko Station ruins and check it out yourself. We were able to grow vegetation in the desert. All thanks to the hard work of Zeke and Director Chi, as well as our two resourceful builders. I just knew it! Sand Rock forever! Wow. I suppose when you keep trying, good things happen. Way to go, y'all. I can really see that ray of hope. Now, let me introduce this gentleman next to me. For those of you who haven't met him, this here is Ernest, the reporter from Atara who wants to do a story on our mayor's progress with the Little Woods. I believe some of you know me already. But to those of you who don't, hello, I'm Ernest. I've been doing a few pieces on sand rock, and my next one will be on this new method of planting you all have discovered. I'm going to be interviewing some of you in the coming days, and also taking pictures of the trees you have growing out in the desert. It'll be an ongoing piece. I'll be putting out articles as this greenery project continues to make progress. Ahem, uh, yes. We welcome you back with open arms, Mr. Ernest. That is, once the forest has grown out a bit more, which it certainly will. Wonderful. As they say in Bonnerock, counting your chickens before they hatch is a good way to predict how many chickens you'll soon have. Right. Anywho, everyone is invited to be in a group photo, so I hope you can all try to stay flexible within the next few days. City Hall will send out a letter with the time and date as soon as possible. This could be my big break. You all wouldn't want to miss a chance to be in the biggest paper in the free cities, would you? So then, if there are no objections, for the feature photograph, I thought it would be most fitting to feature the person most responsible for all our success. Give it up for the botanist who never bowed out. Sandrock's very own Zeke! Whoa, hold on. I said I'd do the group photo. 
I don't want to be on the front page or nothing. You should do it, Trudy. Uh, me? Oh, well, I... Trudy! We can't just put any Johnny-come-lately as the face of Sandrock. Trudy, come lately? What's she done for us since she got back anyway? Other than almost getting both our builders killed at the shipwreck ruins. Way I see it, person we ought to be thinking other than Zeke is good minister Matilda. Now hold on a tick. This is our ray of hope. Yeah, when I heard that, I was like, whoa. I mean, Matilda has led us through some of the most troubled times I've ever seen in this town. I says we put Matilda on the front of one of them funny papers as a code commemoration for all she's done in this town. All in favor, say aye. <laughs> there you have it. Balls in your court, Mayor. Um, uh, sure. <laughs> I mean, if that's how everyone feels about it. Minister Matilda, at the behest of our fine citizens, would you do us the honor of appearing on the front page of this article? Oh, I couldn't. The mob has spoken. Really? It's all right. You've earned this, Matilda, as well as Zeke and our builders. We couldn't have done it without you either. Mm -hmm. uh, goodness, y'all. I'm at a loss for words. I only ever wanted what was best for Sandrock. I was only ever doing what the light put me here to do. But if it'll make y'all happy, then yes, I accept this exceptionally high honor. <laughs> Thank you, Sandrockers. Does this work for you, Ernest? Um... Sure. It's up to you guys, I guess. Uh, all right then. Everyone, keep an eye on your mailboxes. I'll let everyone know when we're ready to take the photo. Meeting adjourned. I couldn't... Conserve water. Conserve water! Uh, serve water? Mm -hmm. So long, partner. Thank you. Yeah. 